Welcome to another episode of Trench Tech. Today we're going to talk about how we can take media and turn it into digital files that we can use in the future. This is really useful when we need to take operating systems such as Windows or Mac OS, um, Office products, QuickBooks, Adobe products, things that we typically don't have media ourselves for but that we would need to install on our customers computers. So in this instance we're going to take Microsoft Office 2007 standard edition. So every edition is different and not all keys work with every edition so that's why we like to create these files so that we can use them later when we have customers that don't have their media anymore but we can get their key for them. So today we're going to use software called ImageBurn. It is free. When you open ImageBurn you have a couple of choices. You have write image file to disk which means we already have an image file and we're going to put it on a disk or we have create image from disk. So this is the option that we're going to use today because we have Windows off or Microsoft Office 2007 and we want to make a copy of it. So in here the first thing that we'll do is that we'll try to load the disk as you can see here it comes up as Office 12 which is Office 2007 this is standard edition so what you want to do is click the file icon here and you want to rename it rename it whatever you would like to and then I always save mine as ISO files because that's the most common file as far as being able to use it with the most amount of applications. Once that's done all we do is we click the disk to image and it will go through the imaging process. We can tell it to eject it when it's done, close the program when it's done, or shut down the computer and it makes a fancy little noise when the whole process is done. So this is really good because again we can take media and we can put it on jump drives, we can put it on external hard drives, we can just merely create a copy for ourselves. Um, I use it this way because then I can use a image loader and then I don't have to actually have physical media with me. Um, so this works really great. We'll have another episode. We'll have a link in the description of how to mount an ISO file to a computer without having to um, do anything special to burn it to media. Um, again, this is a great way and you want to start collecting media as soon as you start repairing computers so that you can create a library for yourself so that you can help your customers a little easier. If you like this video, please press the thumbs up button and subscribe. If you have questions on how to do something and to become a computer technician, leave a comment below and we'll do our best to answer those for you.